Radio Raheem with Slim, boy. It's a tight fit in here because all these YouTube boxers want to shine. But this guy stole the show last time out at O2 Arena. Incredible knockout. I mean, how do you even top a moment like that coming this Saturday? Hey, man, I'm, I'm going to top it again this Saturday night, man. I mean, a moment like that was amazing because I was an underdog in that fight. And I fought yeah. a, a six foot five Southwell. That guy's man. And he's headlining right now, which is kind of crazy, bro. You, you think I should be headlining? It seems like that makes more sense. The guy who won the last fight should yeah. be headlining. Yeah, man. And now I'm fighting a guy who's coming off like it's a like a win-win situation for him. So like, if if he beats me, like he beats an undefeated like YouTube fighter in the scene. But right. if, if I beat him and knock him out, he might be KSI's next opponent. So yo, yeah. <laughs> you know what? This is starting to shape up like traditional boxing. The guy that is the upset guy that everybody's afraid of doesn't get the big fight and you keep having to be the clearinghouse for guys who you beat but then get a title shot. Yeah. Well, you gotta, I mean, you might have to jump in the ring after the KSI fight. I have to, bro, I have to, but you know what? I have to focus on the task at hand. I met my dude, um, the guy I'm fighting, Thompson, he's kind of a crazy guy, bro. He has a lot of energy, but I want to see how his energy gonna be like when he feels a right-hand sniper. Wait, where does he come from? What's his story? Um, uh, I think he's from Leeds. He's a Muay Thai fighter. He did Muay Thai for a couple uh, for, a, for a long time, but he transitioned into boxing. So he's gonna be a tough fighter. He's gonna come to fight. But I'm here to fight too, man. I'm here to put on a show. We're gonna put on a great co-main event, and I'm here to handle business. And I'm gonna do that Saturday night. Now, last time, Faze Temper might have underestimated you. Like he felt like the favorite. Everybody was kind of assuming he was gonna win. You won't get the benefit of that this time out. You're the dangerous guy on the card. How do you make sure that you elevate your game so that you come with even more than they're expecting? Um, I'm, I'm, I'm in the gym working every single day, man. I got, I got a good team behind me. I'm trying to like, like I'm trying, I'm working on all my flaws and trying to turn my flaws into strengths. But I'm getting better as a, a fighter every single day. I'm, I'm training with pro fighters, elite fighters. I got Saddam, World Kid Ali in my corner, Olympian, world, home world champion. I got my boy Khaled Tsuwaiti, you know, we fought the Nationals, he's a no pro boxers. And these guys are giving me wisdom every single day and I'm working hard. So I'm working hard, man. I'm getting better and I'm here to perform. I'm gonna show you guys how much better I've, I've already improved since the summer. Let's give Ali some shine. like. He's in your corner. This is a, it's, it's Saddam Ali, a world, former world champion. Yes, sir. This is like a serious crew right here. Yeah. Are, you know, are you looking to become a serious boxer? Are we, are we starting a career here in the yeah. fight game? You know what it is? I never had an amateur background. Like, like someone like Saddam, he has a, a crazy amateur background, bro. Like he fought like 200 amateur fights, you know what I'm saying? He, yeah, well, he won the Olympics. Like, like, I know, but like, like a lot of pro fighters don't have an amateur background like Saddam does. Like his amateur fight background is crazy. So like. I have zero, I don't have no amateur, like, I'm building up my experience through this, like, you know, this scene, and we'll see where it goes in the future, you know, maybe I will uh, come to <laughs> traditional pro uh, boxing. Now, I know, I know he's got what it takes to beat YouTubers, because we saw him get a sensational upset last time out, but Saddam, can this man, like, fight in the, in the boxing ranks? I mean, he's still learning as he goes, uh, one thing about him, uh, I've seen him get better and better, so, I mean, if he continues doing that and get better and better, then, yeah, I can see it. Now, you know, KSI and Jake Paul both get a big stick, big knock on their records because they've never fought a real boxer. I see you standing around here. <laughs> You're a former world champion. You're in the scene. Are you about to, like, you know, can we see you against one of these guys? I mean, I wish. Come on, man. I mean, all respect to them, but none of them will want to fight me. I mean, it's too much of a risk, you know? I mean, I... If they're trying to fight a pro boxer, I don't think they would choose somebody like me. Like I said, they're trying to fight a real pro boxer and they want to prove something. I don't think it would be me. I mean, I'm hoping it would be, <laughs> but no. All right, well, match yourself up against KSI and Jake Paul. How do those fights go if it's you? I mean, it's just my, my, my boxing IQ is just on a different level, man. I mean, them, them, training, them training hard is not going to really do much. My, my feints that I'm going to hit them with. You know, I'm just, I'm pretty much going to run them over, in my opinion, you know? I know I know what to look out when it comes to them. With KSI, I got to look out for his power. I got to make him miss. I got to have fun with him, dance on him a little bit. You know, same thing with Jake Paul a little bit. It's just my IQ is just too much for him as well. Now, you, it, you know, it, it, it stands to reason that you're already fighting in the YouTube community. You beat the guy he's going to fight. It means, is, have you had a conversation with KSI, like, I mean, I, I haven't yet, but a lot of, my name was trending as soon as Dylan Dennis pulled out and he fought the guy I, 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 like I beat. Everybody's like, why don't you fight Slim? Why don't you fight Slim? And that's like the biggest talk of the week so far. Like, why, why is he not fighting So me? why is he not fighting you? Because I'm a dangerous man, or yeah. Mr. Radio Rahim, bro. I'm a dangerous man. That's why. Is KSI ducking the danger? Yeah, man. He's, he's ducking the hit, man, bro. I, I mean, you know what it is? Like, Dylan Dennis pulled out last minute. He said he was training for a southpaw. I, I'll go southpaw for him if I have to, bro. You know what I'm saying? But you know what? I'm going to do what I do on Saturday night. 
let KSI do what we got to do. If, if, if he wins and I win, hopefully I got that matchup next, man. I, I hope so, man. Okay, It'll look, be a dream fight. I'll be a dream fight. You know how tall words those are. This man just offered to switch his stance to get the fight. That's just crazy. I mean, Terrence Crawford does it. My man's a, a YouTube switch hitter as well. <laughs> Don't get it twisted. He does both. Yeah. I would love to see one of you two tune up, you know, KSI, and maybe derail that Jake Paul fight. But if it does happen, Jake Paul and KSI, who wins it? Uh... Oh, um, man, that's going to be a – when it does happen, it's going to be one of the biggest fights ever, I think. Because, like, on the zone itself, the biggest fight, their biggest, most viewed fight is KSI versus Logan Paul. Right. So, Jacob Paul and KSI has been in, in the talks for years. So, if it does happen – if it happens right now, it's 100% Jake Paul. But I want we got to see where Jake, KSI is at as a fighter right now. I got to see what he does on Saturday night. Because he's been training hard. I got to see how he looks against my old opponent. And then we'll, we'll see from there. You know what I'm saying? I think, I think Jake Paul has the more experience right now. But um, KSI has that type of power where anything could happen. He, he's relentless. He does not stop. He'll keep coming, man. Put that pressure on Jake Paul. So, I mean, for me, he could go either way, man. You never know. Now, you know Jake Paul's uh, goal is to be a world champion boxer. You think he can accomplish that goal? I mean, anything is possible. I mean, it, it depends on what world champion he would be going for. He would have to get really lucky as far as, like, picking the right one to be a world champion. I mean, he'll soon understand how hard it really is to be like a real world champion in, in this pro boxing game. Like, it's no joke, man. And lastly, on Saturday night, give me a prediction for your mans. What's going to happen uh, at the OVO arena? I mean, Th Tom Zanetti's going to come out tough. I think he may try to, like, put the pressure on Slim. But Slim is just on another level, man. His IQ is better than his. And I think he's just going to make him run into all the punches. And to the fans who were screaming your name as soon as there was an opportunity for you to fight, KSI, give me a, a send out a message to them. Oh, man, to so everybody watching, to all my supporters, I appreciate you guys. Thank you guys so much for all the love. I promise you this Saturday night I will give you guys a hell of a performance, man. Just stay tuned. Buy the pay-per-view. And you already know what I'm about to do. The hitman is about to catch him with a sniper. Radio Raheem with Slim and Saddam Ali, former world champion. Who knows, future boxing YouTuber champion? Hey, I, I, I got a belt. I got a Mr. Belt, though. I, yeah, oh, I got, yeah, oh. I'm, I'm excuse me. Belt, excuse me. No disrespect, <laughs> son. Yeah, no disrespect. A, 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 a current Misfits champion, Slim. See you Saturday night. Thank you.